Hi guys, welcome to part 16 of my challenge with the skipjack on cold waters. Okay, so enemy raider group transmitting uh, transiting at high speed towards the Soviet coast. I was if I get my words out correctly. Right, so let's go find this uh, this uh, this group. Right. I just want to look down close to the close to the Norway there because I don't want to run into something I, that's not part of the objective if I can help it. Okay, so if I hang about around here, uh, trying to avoid that sub if I can. That's not what I want. No. Oh, okay, so I ran into the sub anyway. Okay. Check my loadout. Yeah, like my loadout. That's fine. On sonar, lost contact. Last bearing two, four, two. Contact faded. Yeah, I generally don't need to use decoys when I'm up against enemy subs. So uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with that loadout. Come right to two, four, three. Helm I. Ring ship for ultra quiet. Yeah, nice and quiet, so I can actually hear what's going on. Hopefully get a good classification of my target before he detects me. Con, helm, steady course. Con, sonar, new contact bearing, two, four, five, designated Sierra, one. Okay, so Sierra one is on two, four, five. There he is. He was in that area, can't see him yet, but uh, it's getting classified. Okay, so it looks like a November. Okay. Con sonar, Sierra One is cavitating. Okay, that's interesting. Cavitating already. Hmm. I don't think he's detected me though. So. Uh... It's interesting to know, and I think I mentioned this in a previous video as well. Con maneuvering, making turns for two. The nine. speed of the November is is rated as being at twenty six knots. In this game, and I think in real life they actually went up to about 32 knots. So uh, I don't know if that's to make it easier on the uh, 1968 campaign when you're using Mark uh, 17 torpedoes, which at high speed I think only do about 26 or 27 knots. Uh, maybe to do with that possibly. I'm just going to check it here. Yep, it is November by the looks of it. Okay. To be honest, with you, I haven't come across many Novembers on the 84 campaign. I came across loads on the 68 campaign. Uh, when I did that uh, last year. Con sonar, Sierra One is classified as submerged submarine. Okay, yeah, November it is. Uh, using the early set 65 Soviet torpedoes, so they're not really too much of an issue. Detection range on those is 880 yards, which is not a, not a lot really. Although I am in shallower water than I you would usually choose to fight, so. If he's close enough to me when he launches, I might have to do a bit of uh, a bit of evasion. By contrast, there's my subs and uh, my torpedoes there, Mark 48 range of 3,000 yards. So uh, I definitely have a clear advantage here. Time compression there to speed things up a bit. Okay, he's nice and close. There we go, torpedo away. Yep, understandable. He's detected my launch and he's just firing on the bearing. Okay, so I push my speed up 15 knots, usually enough to get out of the way. Con, maneuvering, making turns for Just measuring one, my distance five, there to him and also to the torpedo. Because uh, as I say, the te detection range of my torpedo is 3,000 yards when it's active. Con, 
There we go. So I sometimes what I do is I, I do a little measurement. The, okay, so Pedo is a couple of thousand yards from me, say, and then how many yards got less left to the target from there? And then if it's you know if it's quite sort of close, you can just make it active and bang straight away. It's going for the target. Open a choir, that's what I like to see. Come right to two zero six L I. Con fire control, weapon acquired. Con sonar. Con helm. There we go, nice easy kill. That other torpedo from him hasn't been activated yet. Now I realise as well, uh, to a lot of you, a lot of these missions I'm doing probably do seem quite sort of easy. And to be fair, you know, missions like this I do find very, very easy these days. But then, you know, I have something like not far off. Um, 1,500 hours of playing this game, so I've got a lot of time on this game. So you know, I've I've learned the, the sort of tips and tricks, and you know, and I, I like to fight easy where possible. There's nothing wrong in that. Oh, okay. So I did miss two of the subs, but that's fine. That's not an issue because it's not my target. You know. I've, I took care of the threats with one torpedo instead of expending three torpedoes. Right, so hopefully this is my actual target. On sonar, lost contact. Last bearing, zero, one, six. Contact faded. Okay, so yeah, I just load up a couple of decoys there on this uh, on this mission. Okay, in case this gets a bit tricky. Come up to periscope depth because if I can see uh, my targets through the scope, I can get a range on them a lot faster than uh, waiting for the sonar to uh, give me his, the range by firing solution. Con helm, steady course. Now, I believe this game is something like three years old now, and to be honest with you, I still love the graphics and the details of all the submarines and everything. Okay, someone's using active. I didn't see where it was coming from, but there was active Sano on the go there somewhere. Okay, new contact at zero five four. Sonar, new contact bearing zero zero eight. Designated Sierra two. Okay. Con sonar Sierra. Let's go. So first one's a Kara. Okay, Kara cruiser. Let's see if we can see it at all. Hmm. Contact two seems to be very close. Okay, what's that? There we go. So Cresto, I think, possibly. Not sure. Con sonar. Yeah, Master there's a Cresto two. two. Classified as escort. So I've got a Cresto two and I got a Kara. Okay. Also, on top left of my screen there, you'll see the ES ESM uh, detection. Um, that's not too much of a concern at this point. If that's maxed out completely red, 
then you can pretty much guarantee you're going to be detected if you keep your periscopes up. Um, so, yeah, that's that's yeah. Two bars into the detection uh, range isn't too bad, but if I f if I hear a helicopter coming, I should drop it quickly. Down, down, yeah, I do. So I've got range on my targets. Okay, I'm in I've increased my uh, my ballast here because I want to drop down below the uh, the thermocline layer. Which means I'll lose detection on my targets for a bit, but then it would also decrease their chances of detecting me as well. So it's it's a win-win really. Passing 100 feet. When I detect them uh, again or get a better detection on them, they'll be closer to me as well. So uh, be more within firing range. Uh, go below the layer. As I say, the uh, the guidance on the Mark 48 I'm using is 3,000 yards, so I've got fairly good standoff range, really. Um, so I let that one go just over 6,000 yards. It will soon cover about 3,000 yards, and then as soon as I hit active, at a roughly around halfway, uh, it should pretty much home in on target straight away. Give them the least amount of time possible to. Uh, to react and do something about it. There we go. There, I'm just measuring the distance from myself to him, and also from myself to the torpedo. There we go. That's all. Like a nice quick lock. From the torpedo there. Okay, there we go. That's one gone. Come right to now I just need to find the other fella and take care of him as well. Okay, so it looks like a uh, a sonar boy has been dropped by an aircraft uh, near the position where I destroyed the cruster. Okay, that's interesting. So there's definitely an aircraft in the vicinity. Okay, there's a torpedo galactic behind me, but I'm out of his way, so he's not going to find me, that's, that's good. Yeah, he's already passed my baffles, so that's fine. Just recheck my range. Sometimes I find, though, with lanes of range range, it's not always 100% accurate, so sometimes it's good to range more than once.
down scope. Torpedo away. Passing 100 feet. Let's drop down below the uh, below the thermal cloud layer again. Also, if you notice on the uh, on the screen on the right hand screen, you'll notice the ambient noise is 100 decibels. That's quite noisy, which is good for me because it makes me harder to detect. Okay, I dropped down a bit lower than I was anticipating, but uh, yeah, that's still good enough. Time compression now, just to speed things up. Con, torpedo room, two, three, ready. Uh, I'm just waiting to see where the um, active sonar is coming from again, which will be the yellow line when it pops up. Speed things up a tad. Come on, where are you? I know the enemy is somewhere here. Con, there we go, he's a. And you also notice uh, I've now got three sonar boys off uh, to the left there, um, so I've deliberately fired a decoy in that direction. So at least they'll pick that up as a submarine instead of me. Oh, I'm going to send my uh, wire guided active, there we go. <laughs> He's letting noise noisemaker go, but it's too late, mate. You are gone, fella. Con, right. sonar lost That's contact. the end of him. Master three, last bearing three, five, four. Contact breaking up. Okay, so one more left. Reload that tube. Ah, and see the yellow line there. That was the, Con, that was the sonar, sonar bearing. Contact on. Master one, bearing zero, five, five. Mm, sorry for that. A bit of bit of a bit of a screen glitch there. I think I need uh, Aye, need need to get a little bit a little bit of a better gaming device, perhaps. Well, it's a decent gaming device. The trouble is, uh, I've got quite a lot stored in it at the moment. I need to clear it out a bit. Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. Okay, so that torpedo should be finding the target in the moment. Here's the carver. Where is he visibly? Right, put that active. There it is, right. See a little bit of explosion in the distance there. I think that was uh, an enemy torpedo <laughs> chasing my deco, perhaps. Master one, last bearing zero, three, nine, contact breaking up. Okay, there's the coward done. Okay, so there's three targets down, two cresters and a coward. Yeah, as I say, I'm, I'm sorry for uh, some of these uh, levels seem a little bit too easy, but, you know, 
I honestly play this game on elite difficulty setting, which is the hardest setting there is, um, which I think also makes the uh, the overall game longer. You know, the, your 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 play time is like I think it's like one month or something if um, you do it on the easiest setting, and it's like three or four months if you do it on the longest setting. Uh, so yeah. Oh, okay, that's interesting. That wasn't my objective. I thought it was. Okay, my objective has got to be in the vicinity, though, surely. Hmm, okay. Resupply vessels finally... Ah, uh, what? So that wasn't it. Okay. Okay, so I failed that one then. Okay, not to worry. So the Soviets have reloaded their warships. Darn. That's not good. Ooh, enemy task force. Right, okay. Prepare sail for Murmansk. In the vicinity of the Norwegian coast, right, so hopefully this will be a, quite a chunky, uh, nice mission to do. Also, I'm just thinking about it. If anybody um, who does play this game, maybe they're a bit new at the game, you know, if they want any tips and tricks from me on like how to how to help or, or to get them past a difficult mission or whatever's going on, uh, please drop me a comment in the comments section below, and I will get back to you with uh, with how I would approach uh, what it, what it is you're, you're stuck on. Right, so I'm hoping my task force will show up because I have had a couple of uh, glitches on the game so far where the, what I was asked for hasn't appeared. Okay, so yeah, contact reports, two decoys, four contact torpedoes. Zero, eight, one, designated Sierra, one. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Con sonar, new contact bearing. Make turns for two knots, maneuvering eye. Con sonar, new contact bearing. Come left to zero nine two. Helm I. Okay, let's see if these are visible. Con sonar, new contact bearing zero seven nine. Designated Sierra four. Okay, that's uh. That's a target I don't come across often. Oh, kill off. 28,000 tons. Oh, okay. That's quite a decent vessel to come up against. I don't come against that very often. Right. Oh, it's a CO4. Let's see what CO4 is. I dropped my scope there because I'm feeling a bit. Uh, I'm feeling concerned that uh, a helicopter or an aircraft will drop a torpedo on me. Because large assets like the Kirov there are usually well protected by, with air cover as well as uh, escorts. Okay. So that's a Krivik uh, frigate. SSN 14 missiles. Sonar, two is classified as escort. Which is basically just a missile that drops a torpedo on top of you. From very long standoff range. Extremely long. Con sonar, Sierra okay, four that's interesting. Con, Helm, so four. Um some kind of Soviet merchant, possibly. Maybe it's mis misclassified that, but we'll see. Okay. Okay, I'm going down 250 feet here just to drop below the thermocline there. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra 2, last bearing 0, 9, 7, contact faded. Con dive at 2, 5, 0 feet, dive by. 
Con sonar lost contact. Sierra one last bearing zero eight five contact faded. Yeah, contacts are faded because I've dropped below the thermocline layer, so I have no longer I've no longer got detection on them. But also means the chances are they're not able to detect me either, so it's all good. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra there two we go. bearing one zero two. We get contact, so that means it's fairly sort of close to me now. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra three bearing zero nine two. I'm also thinking that Sierra 4, the merchant, is probably a neutral vessel, not a belligerent one. So, uh, yeah, because looking at it on the map there, it's uh, it's moving in a different direction than the uh, than the warships. Con helm, steady course. Just using a bit of time compression here as well to speed things up. Okay, so there's active sonar detection. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra one bearing zero eight five. Also, you notice I'm focused mainly on the kill off here because that is basically the, the the single's most important target. If I sink that, then this mission is successful, uh, provided I can get away. Uh, but it's going to take about two torpedoes away. It's not going to go down with one. So I'm going to fire my singular wire guided. And then my secondary, which won't be wire guided because I can only support one wire at a time. Let the decoy on go now. There we go. Because that torpedo launch will have given me detection, so. Uh, okay. I fired off two different decoys in different directions there just to cause a bit of confusion. Keep my speed nice and low below the thermocline layer. So hopefully my both my decoys will get picked up as, as enemy subs uh, while I stay. Nice and hidden. Contact on Sierra two bearing one two zero. Ambient noise there is only seventy seven decibels, so that's fairly low. But I'm below a strong thermocline there, so uh, that should improve my chances significantly. Right, those four enemy torpedoes there going around in circles, they are probably SSN 14s uh, that have dropped torpedoes. Thankfully, nowhere near me. Oh, I've just set my wire guide as active. Okay, yeah, I've just fired off um, in the rough direction of uh, one of the other escorts as well. Because I want to keep them busy. Come right to one, eight, nine, helm I. It's an important thing I want to point out to anyone as well is on any mission, especially if it's quite a challenging one. As long as you sync the priority targets, be that a merchant or a few merchants or um, you know a capital ship like the Kirov here, then that is enough to to win that mission. So don't think you've got to slug it out with every vessel going, if you're really up against it and you're having a tough fight. As long as you get the important targets down and get away, then you then you'll find you, you've uh, it's a successful completion. As you can see, I'm also going nice and deep now as well. I want to get a lot of distance between myself and the enemy torpedoes. It also means I get a lot more time to react if something uh, gets dropped on top of me. Con torpedo room two three ready.
Okay. So the curve appears to be moving slightly northeast. So I'm just going to, have to guide my wire torpedo up to him. Okay, well that's an enemy torpedo that detonated nowhere near me, which is fantastic because that means they haven't got a clue where I am. There's another detonation from an enemy torpedo. Weapon acquired. Weapon acquired, okay. So where are you? I, I can see it's making 32 knots. So it's running away, which is fair enough, it will do. Okay, I've got another torpedo there doing a snake pattern. Looking for a target. As I say, this one torpedo won't destroy it, but it will certainly slow it down because... Uh, any impact in the game on, on a surface vessel, if it's not powerful enough to destroy the vessel, it will certainly reduce its speed significantly. Con, torpedo room, two, five ready. So it'll just then be a case of finishing it off. There we go. That that there is an enemy torpedo and my decoy literally just went underneath it. Now you'll notice <laughs> The uh, the bottom enemy torpedo there is now turning around and chasing my decoy, which is fantastic. So they haven't got a Scooby Doo where I am, which which is amazing. So he's trying to avoid the torpedo, but that is not going to happen. There we go, there's impact. But I'm going to need a second impact because, like I say, one is not enough to take down a vessel of that size. Come left to zero, eight, three, helm, I. Shoot two, four, I, sir. Yeah. Con, torpedo room, tube six ready. There's still a bit of difference between that uh, my torpedo just doing a snake patterns and the enemies, so uh, hence I've just launched another torpedo just to make sure I take it down. Con, yeah, room, in the bottom of the screen there, ready. you can see uh, that's my decoy, the the, the blue Con, line so for the yellow target, and it was West being chased by. Zero. An enemy torpedo, which is now basically run out of fuel and exploded, so that's good. Oh, cool. So a second torpedo I launched earlier must have must have already found the target for me. Like I say, um, these Mark 48s are really very, very good. So you know you can pretty much fire and forget them as long as you're in a, sort of in the general direction. Oh, there we go. Another uh, the torpedo, uh, also another torpedo I launched a little while ago, has also found the the Krivik down the bottom there, so that's good, and now I've only got one enemy vessel left. So even though the Skipjack is, you know, the, uh, I suppose the worst US submarine available in the uh, 1984 campaign, the, it's more than made up for in 1984 with the, uh, with the torpedoes. The Mark 48s are awesome. You know, they're very smart, they're hard to evade, and, you know, with an awesome detection range of 3,000 yards, as long as they're in the you know the the, the right sort of general direction to the target, there's a very good chance they will do the job for you. Come on, I'm nearly there. Just gotta sink this Krivak, and then that's it. So once this is down, that is, I can say that's a very successful mission. No threat to myself at all. Fire 
Hey there, come on. Con sonar, noise maker, bearing zero, five, six. There we go, guys. That that is uh, all targets down. Okay, so I missed a Victor 2 submarine there. I didn't even pick that up at all. But that's not to worry. That's, the mission is successful. So there's a personal congratulations to me, etc. I do like uh, when you get a very tasty mission like that. Well, uh, you know, quite a, quite, a, quite a decent challenge I was. Anyway, so yes, thank you very much for watching, guys. As I said before, if you're new to the game, if you're struggling, please drop me a comment below and I'll get back to you and I'll uh, make some suggestions on how to help you out so you can improve your game. Thank you very much indeed for watching.